Hi, and welcome back to my channel, J.O. Wood Artistries. My name is Jordan Links. And I hang would on, like to... hang on, hang on. Really? Links? That's the one you're going with? Really? Huh? This is getting out of hand. I mean, it was just the next one on the list. You know what a Lynx is, right? Uh, I mean, I'm not a mammologist. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a cat. Sure, yeah, I guess it's a cat. Okay, fine. This just proves it, man. It's obvious. It's obvious what you've become. Uh, I, I... You're a cat lady. I am not a cat lady. I don't even like cats. Oh, you don't like cats? I'm a dog lover. Everyone knows this. Let's go over the facts then. You built a cat cabin behind the shop. Sure, yeah, for the barn cats. So they'd have a place to go and eat their dinner. And what are you building in the backyard? A dog house. Just for dogs? For animals of all kinds. Including cats. Including cats, yes. Okay, fine. Face it, you're a cat lady. Okay. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I am not. Yep. That's not, no, I'm not. You're a cat lady. I am not a cat lady. R2. No, I am not. You're a cat lady. No. Mm -mm. C-A-T-L-A-D-Y. No, I am not. Okay. Then how many cats do you have? I mean, we have the ones that are here full time, and then we have some that visit and some barn cats that come over and probably neighbor cats. Total. How many? Six or seven. No one has that many cats. Okay. What's on your hoodie? Uh, sawdust. I mean, it's... That's cat hair. It's not... Well, okay. I guess it is cat hair. You're a cat lady. I guess I, I guess I am. I guess I am. I, I don't think I, I mean. Wait, wait, I'm a guy. I'm not a cat lady, that's not even biologically possible. Doesn't know what he's talking about. Come on, Freckles, let's go. I hope you enjoyed that little intro. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get down to business. I'm gonna make a cat scratcher pad. A scratching pad for cats. Yeah. We're gonna make a scratching cat pad for cats. So if you're like me, you've got lots of cardboard boxes laying around that you need to get rid of. Why not turn those into a scratching pad for cats? If you don't have cats, well, the obvious answer is to go get some cats. And then you can make them a scratching pad with your leftover cardboard boxes. So after tearing down the cardboard boxes, I ran them through the table saw, creating two inch wide strips. If you don't have a table saw, you can use a straight edge and a box cutter. You can even use a pair of scissors. It's just gonna take you a bit longer. Now, because I'm an amateur woodworking hobbyist, I decided to make a wooden tray for the scratch pad to sit down into. I used leftover construction lumber uh, from the pergola that I had planned on using for the brackets, but the boards had a bit of a warp to them. And so I decided to um, save them for a future project. The dimensions of the boards are two long sides at 17 and a half inches, two shorter sides at 13 and a half inches, and the boards are two inches wide, about an inch and a quarter thick. So I set up a stop block and clamped it to the fence of the table saw and set the height of the saw blade at about a quarter of an inch and then made multiple passes to create the dado.
for the bottoms, I'm just using cardboard left over again from another project. Here now is the glue up and I'm using regular Elmer's PVA school glue. I will trim it to its final shape later at the table saw. Now I'm cutting plugs to fill the screw holes with using a plug cutting bit and the drill press to get this done and just going into a scrap piece of pine. Now I'm pre-drilling and countersinking for the screws. And to finish it, I used the Minwax Paste Wax. Um, I figured this would be good for cleanup down the road as the trays get mud and dirt on them. For the assembly, I used Type Bond 3 wood glue and two and a half inch deck screws. After assembling the tray, I used clamps to hold the sides together, and I pre-drilled the rest of the way in to prevent the screws from splitting the wood. And drove in my screws. Now I mark the scratching pad using the tray to get my final dimensions and run it through the table saw. Mark the other side. Then insert the scratching pad into the tray. Then I add a drop of glue into the screw holes and added the pegs. Here are some final shots of the completed scratching pads. And with that, the project was done. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you can be alerted every time I upload a new video. Thanks again for watching. I do appreciate it. Please take care and stay safe. Goodbye. Me. Don't you scratch me. Nice and cozy now, aren't you? Not a cat lady. Just like cats. As much as the next guy. There you go.